Okay, so let's talk about getting your master's degree in Germany. If you have gotten a bachelor's degree either in Germany or outside of Germany, then getting your further education at a master's level in Germany is a good choice, uh, much like the bachelor level because of the combination of two factors. Number one, world-class education at German universities, which is uh, renowned around the world, uh, and number two, at a very low cost in comparison to other countries. So there are no tuition fees, there are only small uh, semester contributions uh, that you have to pay, but you also get uh, benefits like a public transportation ticket and, and things like that for it. So if you want to come here, um, you have a wide range of, of programs that you can choose from. There are a couple of thousand bachelor and master programs right now in Germany that you can apply in in, 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 in various in various subjects and fields, so um, there is a great variety uh, to choose from. So how do you get into a master's program in Germany? A university will always have a two-step process of checking your application for a master's program. Number one, they will check the content of your bachelor's degree with your own bachelor's degree, most of the time, most of the time. Because most universities build their master's program on top of their own bachelor's program. So the content that is taught in master's program is based on a content foundation, a subject foundation that was laid in their own bachelor program. So it's a continuation of their own program. So what they're looking for in applicants is that their own bachelor degree is similar in terms of what they learned to the university's own bachelor degree. So they will see what subjects did you study, what uh, was the, the uh, proportion of uh, credit points that was earned. Uh, mostly any university will have a certain amount of credit points that need, need to be earned in certain um, fields of study. So if you are applying for a master's in management, there needs to be a certain amount of credit points that you achieved in your bachelor's degree in the subjects of uh, management. So this is uh, the first step that a university will make, is they will check, okay, is this person even eligible in terms of what you learned in your bachelor's degree in order to get into our master's degree. And then afterwards, the second step is uh, looking at a, having a qualitative look at your application and seeing what grade did you achieve and how do you rank then with other applicants? So that is a, a fairly uh, straightforward method. Sometimes universities also take into considera consideration did you have any work experience prior to your bachelor's, after your bachelor's, so they will have a more holistic picture of who you are as a person. Sometimes there might be a, an essay, uh, interviews with, uh, with staff and teaching staff and admission uh, staff to see, okay, who are you as a person? for us to admit uh, to university. Um, so this is the way to get into a master's program in Germany. What language skills do you need? So if you study in a German speaking master's program, the German level you need to have is C1 to C2 in that range. There are certain language exams that you can pass that uh, are accepted, recognized by the universities and if you have passed those exams, or any of those exams, you will then be eligible to uh, enroll in a master's program. What those exams are, there is an infographic uh, explaining what, uh, which different exam types there are and which specific exam within that exam category you need to have. So there's test stuff, there's Goethe, there is DSH, there are different types of language certificates and every certificate has certain exams and uh, we will show you what exam you will need to pass in order to uh, be admitted to a master program in Germany. Next to German speaking master programs there are also English speaking master programs and the number of English speaking master programs is actually greater than the number of English speaking bachelor programs. So. The, the postgraduate level is uh, more international, more open to uh, more applicants from the outside. So you will find uh, master programs in many, many different fields. So 
business is always one of the biggest ones uh, that you, you can find. But uh, also besides business, there are many other subjects uh, from the natural sciences, uh, engineering that you can study in English or partially in English. So you have a wide variety also in those. So if your German is not as strong and you don't have the time to learn German or you don't want to or you want to continue in an English-speaking program, there are more options for you at the master level than there would be at the bachelor level. How do you apply for a master's program? So if you are an international student, you will have two options. Number one is via the university directly. So on their website, it will say you can apply here. So you just fill out the application and send all the documents. Number two is uh, through UniAssist. UniAssist is a non-profit organization that was founded by uh, a number of German universities to handle their international applicants. So every international application that is uh, supposed to go to one of the member universities of UniAssist will go to UniAssist first. There it will be checked, um, always for formalities, as everything uh, to see if every formal aspect of the application is done. Sometimes always, uh, sometimes also with a qualitative check. And after that, UniAssist then funnels the application to the university where the final evaluation and verdict will be given. So uh, those are the two methods of uh, applying for a master's program in Germany. Besides public universities, there are also private universities that offer master's programs. Um, the biggest difference, of course, being between public and private is that for private universities, you have a tuition fee that you need to pay similar to other countries like the UK or the US. The tuition fees are dependent on the program and the university, currently from 5,000 to 20,000 per year. With that though, you, you get something in return. It's a, a, a better experience, a more, more service-oriented uh, type of studying. So you have better facilities, smaller classes, more connections, uh, better supervision from your, your teaching staff, more access to your teaching staff, more networking, alumni uh, opportunities, especially in the fields of business. Public universities in Germany are not that big on alumni networks, like not promoting it as strongly. Uh, I mean, some really good ones are, but majority really isn't. So private schools put a bigger emphasis on, on this whole networking alumni effect. And yeah, you get um, something in return for, for, for paying more, which is a easier, smoother experience and a head start maybe on certain uh, topics uh, after you want to uh, finish your degree. So let's quickly recap uh, the master's section of, of this video. There are good reasons to study at a master's program in Germany. Education is really good at German universities and they come at a very low price, uh, no tuition fees, at public ones at least. There is a wide range of master's program you can study in. There is a great number of German-speaking but also English-speaking programs. So uh, the number of uh, international opportunities for non-German speakers is bigger for people who want to study master than for people who want to study a bachelor's program. German, you need C1 or C2, uh, which can be demonstrated by different language exams that you can take. Uh, for English, it's the TOEFL or the IELTS test that you can take and the score you need to get is dependent on the program. You apply via the university directly or via UniAssist and admission is handled uh, in a two-step process. First, they will look at is your bachelor degree sufficient? Is it good enough? Is the, is the content uh, relevant for the master's program and then in a the second step how good were you in your previous uh, academic career and then you are ranked with the uh, other applicants to uh, get a spot or get a rejection. So that was the video on master's. I hope this uh, gave you an overview, uh, some insights on what studying in a master's program uh, in Germany takes. Yeah, I hope this was helpful to you and that you are on your way to Germany to study in a master's program very soon.